about the teams today. Wrexham, 15th place in the Vanarama National League, have made one change from the side that drew one all at Torquay United last week. Paul Rutherford is back from injury and replaces Callum Powell in midfield. So Wrexham line up with on loan Huddersfield goalkeeper Luke Coddington in goal in midfield. And sorry, in defence is Kai Edwards, Hamza Ben Sharif, Curtis Tilt and Jordan Evans. Midfield sees Mark Carrington, Rob Evans, Paul Rutherford and John Rooney. And up front, Sean Harrod and Jerry McDonough. Visitors Forest Green come into this in sumptuous form despite drawing two all with Tramia in midweek. They still hold on to the top spots in the Vanarama National League. They have Sam Russell in goal, Teresa Toyore, Charlie Clough, Dale Bennett, Keanu Marsh Brown, Christian Deutsch, Darren Carter, Liam Noble, Ethan Pinnock, Dan Wishart, and Rob Sinclair. Troy Saw, hello, welcome to Rex and Player HD. I'm Rich Fay and I'll be bringing you coverage of this match between Wrexham AFC and Forest Green Rovers in the Vanarama National Leagues. Jordan Evans, who's not scored a league goal this season. He did score against Stamford in the FA Cup thriller, but I guess that was thrilling for all the wrong reasons. Ball played out here to Dan Wishart on the left-hand side. As you'd expect, seven minutes in, Forest Green Rovers dictating the manner of this game. It's a good play over by Charlie Clough. Christian Deutsch competes for it in the air. He knocks it down well. Chance for Forrest Green. And he's got to score. Penalty. Well, the ball was played through nicely. Fell to Liam Noble. He took it past his man. And he was pulled back there. So, Darren Carter has the chance from 12 yards out. Luke Coddington yet to keep a clean sheet in his loan spell here at Wrexham. The league leaders, Forrest Green, it's Carter from the spot. And it's Coddington with a save! Well, that will do him a world of good. Luke Coddington has said in the papers this week that he's not felt tested really during his loan spell. Well, he's passed that test of flying colours. Bennett again. Bennett whips one in. And that won't be troubling Luke Collington. And rolls it out nicely. Kai Edwards and now Wrexham have their own chance to play on the counter. It's nicely fed towards Jerry McDonough. 18 years old. He might not look it, but I assure you he is. And he's got the ball nicely there. Into Kai Edwards. Robbie Evans, it's not over yet. Harrod back for Evans. Rutherford, round his man, and Harrod can't get there, it's not over yet, Kai Edwards, Wrexham keeping the pressure up, Edwards, Rooney, and towards goal in, Sean Harrod, well that's not been going his way in recent weeks, that one was offside, there's no doubt about it, the penalty save only moments ago, we said it might be one of those days, and Wrexham, the chances don't come and fast against Forest Green, but when they do, you've got to make them count. And Wrexham have. It's a beautiful glassing header by Sean Harrod. It's his second goal in the league this season, but more importantly, it's Wrexham won the league leaders, Forest Green Rovers. You have to give credit there to Darren Carter. He held off Harrod well, and Forest Green edging those possession stats up again. Dale Bennett into Noble, cuts onto his right hand side beautifully, good save by Coddington, he saw it late, but Wrexham gets it away. Chance for Forrest Green to get the men up from this corner, Coddington's got the sun in his eyes, can they take advantage? He's played in deep, head of the way just about, and Curtis tilts there again. Knees it away, unorthodox, but the ball is away, that's all that matters. Forrest Green will come again. Jerry McDonough just switches off there. A wall of red in front of the Forest Green men there. Wishart out to Keanu Marsh Brown, the ex Barnet man. Beautiful play there by Noble. Marsh Brown from distance. And it wasn't that far wide. 
Beautiful ball, Ben Sharif's there. Away by Clough, it's danger still not cleared. Curtis tilts, shouts of handball against Rob Sinclair. Wrexham might have had a case there. And still the pressure's up, Jerry McDonald's out wide. He'd rather be in the box, but Wrexham still have the ball. Carrington on his left foot, tilts there. Rutherford might keep it in, and he does. Lines and flag stays down. Rutherford with the cross towards the back post. Rooney was always struggling to get there. McDonough wins the ball back fairly. Whipped in again. Wrexham maintain the pressure. Forest Green Rovers chance to defend. Rooney with that wand of a right foot. Evans. Rooney again. Beautiful play by him to beat the two men. And now Kai Edwards. Another chance for him to cross. Ben Shreve's there. The header's over the bar. But the race course is in full flow. Wrexham. A real match for the league leaders. Jordan Evans to the throw in, in front of the Wrexham dugout. Dean Keats stood on the touchline, must be itching to get on the pitch himself. But at the moment, he's masterminding a fine Wrexham performance. Edwards whips all in towards the back post. Harrods there. The second ball's loose. Fell now for Rutherford. Saved to McDonough. And then Wrexham two. Forrest Green Rovers. It fell to Rutherford. His first effort was saved by Russell, but he could only parry it straight to McDonough. And the man on loan from Nottingham Forest smashes it back into the net. Forest Green will be distraught with their defending. Wrexham, they don't care. They saved a penalty. And now, against all the odds, they lead 2-0. Forest Green being made to play the way Wrexham want them rather than the way they intended. Luke Collington with a slip. But that's it at half time. It's Wrexham 2, Forest Green Rovers nil. Goals from Sean Herrod and Jerry McDonough. And a fantastic penalty save from Luke Coddington. Half time's changed here at the race course. There's a big 45 ahead, but at half time, Wrexham lead. All right, let's push it on into the second half. Back the Rovers to make some noise. Here we go, Wrexham! So we're underway here in the second half. Forest Green Rovers, the league leaders, but for how long they trail by two goals to nil. And perhaps two of the biggest team talks we will see this season. Forest Green Rovers need to ensure that they can keep focused here and get back into this game. And Dean Keats, it would be a huge confidence boost if they can get something out of this game. The two goals up, they play great football. But this is a real test of character for both sets of play. So one substitution at half-time. It is Rob Sinclair who's been replaced by Matt Tubbs. So we built him up pre-match. We said just how important he could be off the bench. He is a footballer who's got football league experience and he can score goals at any level. Whipped in. Harrods there. He goes down under a challenge from Christian Deutsch. Bit of a coming together, May, might have been harsh. Nice play by Evans. The attack's not over yet. It's whipped in. McDonald's there. Falls to Ben Shrew. Curtis tilts. Over the bar. Well, he comes close to scoring in most home games now. Against Braintree Town, he hit the crossbar. That one felt appetizingly. But perhaps that's why Curtis Tilt plays centre half. Troy plays it to Pinnock. Nice play with Dan, Dan Wishart. Chance for Forest Green. If the cross is good, it's towards Matt Tubbs. It won't fall for him, and it's almost ushered out of play there. Attack's not over yet. Wishart. Noble's lurking on the edge of the box. Marsh, Brown, and Clough are at the back post. It does come to Noble. Marsh, Brown screaming for it here. What can he do? Nice bit of trickery. Jordan Evans stays with him, though. And wins the ball back. McDonough. Puts his body in the way. There's a counter for Wrexham on now. How's the pass? The pass is good. Harrod might just get there. Dangerous play. 
Coddington to Carrington. Wrexham working it out from the back themselves now, playing with a bit of confidence. Rooney looks up. Rofi controls beautifully. McDonald's through. Jerry McDonald. Well defended in the end by Dale Bennett. But the touch from Roeford was excellent. We'll whip this corner in. No short option for Forest Green. So Wrexham needs to concentrate. They conceded from a free, from a late corner last week at Playmore. Marsh Brown whips one in. It's deep. It's headed wide. And it was Manny Monte who's just come off the bench. Could have been a dream debut. The ball's long. McDonough's under it. It falls to Powell. Almost connecting with it. Rooney competes in the air. Marsh Brown having to drop even deeper again to collect the ball. Roeford sticking to him like glue. The ball's out wide. Charlie Clough, good touch on his chest. He's got a chance to cross here. Jordan Evans tracked back. Noble, deep ball in. And headed towards goal and in. Well, it was Manny Monte at the back post. Came back across goal. Darren Carter went for it. Plays short by Noble. Wrexham switch off. Whipped in towards Manny Monte, the debutant. Blocked by Tilt somehow. And away. And a free kick to Wrexham. Bennett goes long. It's intercepted well by Kai Edwards. And he slides it through. Callum Powell's onside. Powell for Wrexham. He's got McDonough in support. It's just behind him. Rooney to his left, McDonough from distance, it's deflected to Powell. The attack's not over yet, Roford to his left and Evans out wide to his right. Robbie Evans towards the back post and it's cleared away by Clough, only as far to Carrington. Wrexham aren't done yet, Powell towards the back post again, McDonough's there. And eventually it's cleared. Evans takes a touch and launches it on his left foot towards McDonough again, the main attacking outlet. Backs out the challenge well with Pinnock. McDonough holds onto it in the corner. Support with Edwards. Almost found Rutherford through the middle. The ball skids wide though. Idrissa Traore. There's a fight off the ball. Dale Pennant. There's Joe McDonough involved there. Martin Coy will have a word here. McDonough. Booking for McDonough. And Idrissa Traore. Tilt. Just about away. It's volley towards goal. Coddington saw it late, but he held on to it well. Noble. Robert. Whips one in. Head of the way by Ben Sharif. Powell under it. Controls it on his knee. It's loose though. Noble across goal, Tubbs is there, back to goal, hits Ben Sharif and tipped wide by Covington. You can't take risks with those. I'm not sure if it was going in, but it's a super save by Luke Covington. In swinger. Space at the front post. Carter's there, heads it across goal. And a corner given to Forrest Green. Corner. Marsh Brown towards the front post, it's over everyone. And there's a chance for Wrexham on the counter-attack. It's three on two, the ball's released. Leo Smith won't get there. Perhaps Powell was the better option, but it's easy to say that in hindsight. And Collington looks out wide. Jerry McDonald's on left-hand side, it's a three on one potentially. Rooney controls it well, looks out wide to McDonough. Powell through the middle, Leo Smith too. Here's Jerry McDonough, what can he do? Jerry McDonough for Wrexham, just wide. Mark Cooper eagerly throws it to his man. Manny Monfe, clever play by him. 
It falls now on the edge of the box. It's shot towards goal and Covington saves. Sam Russell. Mark Carrington heads it away. Robbie Evans. McDonald's onside. Wrexham have a break here. Powers through the middle. It's McDonough for Wrexham. Still Jerry McDonough. It's Mike coming in. McDonough around the keeper. Wrexham! Wrexham have feet of the lead, ladies. If yesterday was a Black Friday, then today is a Red Saturday. Dean Keats has sealed the three points. Jerry McDonough has done it. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. What a way to grab your brace. Forrest Green defeated, deflated, Wrexham ecstatic. Does the season start here? But money can't buy you everything. Wrexham have beaten Forrest Green Rovers. Forrest Green without a winning three. Wrexham record their first win in six games. A goal. From Sean Harrod in the first half is followed by a brace by Jerry McDonough. Luke Collington deserves a lot of applause for a fine penalty save early on. But final score from the Valley Army National League Wrexham 3, Forest Green Rovers 1.